Being a big fan of platformers, anytime I see a new one, it usually catches my attention, and that's exactly what just happened with the new 3D platformer Pitterpot that's now out on PS4. But does this one end up growing into a great gaming experience, or should this pot just be smashed? Pitterpot is a simple 3D platformer. It's been in development for several years, originally supposed to come out on the Wii U, before finally now landing on the PlayStation 4. The goal in the game is to collect everything that you need to in each stage and progress. You need a certain number of the game's big collectible in order to go through the gateways and go to different areas of the hub world and thus eventually making your way through. It's pretty typical 3D platforming progression. The thing in this game though is, it just feels like it has a bit of identity crisis or they just weren't able to do certain things that they were trying. For example, in the first area of the game, there's four levels. You have 1-1, 1-2, 1-3, and 1-B. The B is actually a bonus level, and this is the case for each of the areas. There are four stages. The thing is though, the bonus level is unlocked from the beginning in each area, so why really even have it labeled as a bonus? Why not just have it labeled as another numbered stage? That aside, the platforming itself is clunky. The character is not really that fun to control. You're able to run and jump, and that's basically it. You do get bombs that you're able to drop, and a couple of other items you're able to find scattered throughout areas, like an invincibility seed, and then the game's various collectibles, but other than that, you're mostly just running and jumping, which would be fine if it controlled well. The problem is, though, it feels like Pitterpot has a bunch of cement in his pot at all times, as he's so heavy with his jumping, it just makes things unfun. Honestly, it felt like I was controlling a character from a very early 3D platformer like Croc on the PS1. Your goal in each level is to collect stuff. The small collectible is seeds, and the main collectible is acorns. Some of these acorns are well hidden, and you'll have to go off the beaten path a lot of times in order to find them. These are your gatekeeping item. You need a certain number of these to progress through the game. There's also the golden pots, which you have to collect five of them in each level in order to unlock one of the four acorns. Once you collect the fifth pot, the fourth acorn will appear right at that spot. The occasional boss or gauntlet-like level are thrown in, there's usually only one acorn in these, and you'll have to either defeat the boss or get to the top of a tower or something like that in order to collect it. When playing the game though, I got confused quickly. I collected everything in the first level, and there was a big level complete across the screen, but nothing else happens. It doesn't exit and take you back to the hub. You actually have to pause the game and hit exit, or go back to the beginning of the stage and exit the level via that. I don't know why there was no goal or secondary exit in some stages. A few levels do have a secondary exit, but a lot of them don't. I don't know why they would decide not to have something like this or a way to get back to the hub without pausing and exiting. It just ends up seeming like the game didn't have a whole lot of thought process put into its design. Well, the time of completion will vary depending upon if you go for every one of the collectibles right away, but even getting all of them, it'll take you maybe two, three hours at the absolute most to see everything in Pitterpot. From the technical side of things, the game didn't crash on me, but there was some slowdown freezing even at times. If there was too much going on on screen, the game couldn't calculate it, I guess, and would end up freezing for a second or two. There was also some camera issues, which are pretty typical for 3D platformers, but in a game like this, frustration ended up mounting pretty quickly. Pitterpot is available on the PS4, and it does feature a platinum trophy. It's a pretty easy one to get. You just have to pretty much collect everything in the game and beat one level without getting hurt. Though, honestly, after just a little bit of practice, this shouldn't be an issue. Overall, I don't hate Pitterpot. I think the developers did the best they could with the resources that they had, and what you end up getting is an okay basis for a 3D platform, but really needs a lot of work to truly end up shining, especially on today's indie market. There were a couple of nice effects, I liked the character, and the soundtrack as well was quite enjoyable, at least a few tracks in particular. The thing is though, Pitterpot is just a very basic 3D platformer that I can't really see exciting too many people on today's market. With that said, I'm going to be giving Pitterpot a 3 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review though. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoy.